제 226회 첫 MT라 마음이 설렌다 안녕하세요. Welcome to Arirang TV's Let's Speak Korean. I'm your host, Lisa Kelly, and I'm so glad you could join us today because if you thought our dialogues were a little difficult these days, today's is quite short, but there's a lot to learn. Sitting next to me, also helping us guide uh, everyone into the language is... Hi, I'm Stephen Revere. Thank you all for being with us, ladies and gentlemen. We're back to teach you more Korean. Today we're going to talk a little bit about some other fun customs going on trips together. And yeah, hi, ooh, Stephen. Got a hi, Lisa. Hi, Adro. 여러분, 안녕하세요. My name is Marina. Nice to see you again, guys. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Stephen. Hello, Marina. 여러분, 안녕하세요. 저는 Adro입니다. Nice to see you all. Ah, oh, well, why don't you take a look at the screen here before we start? We see the letters M I B, famous movie that Koreans love. What is it? Mm, men in Man Black. Men in Black. They didn't bother to put the the period, the <laughs> last period, right. which is typical in Korea. They don't always mm, put the last period there. Next, K A L. What did you ride to Korea on? What's the famous airline? Korean airlines. Korean airlines. And today we have another uh, mm, acronym. Yeah, acronym. acronym. And eat our dialogue. Take a listen and tell me what you think it might mean. Wrap it up with Lisa and Steven. No, MT 얘기 들었지? 음, 첫 MT라 마음이 설렌다. 남이섬으로 간대. 정말? <웃음> 이... Okay, did you figure out where it was? It was in English, so obviously. Mm -hmm. The first line says, No MT 얘기 들었지? Did you hear about the MT? Now, let's first talk about what MT is. Have you guys heard of MT here in Korea? No, I Not no. Arthur? Yeah, no? Nice. MT, membership training. Oh, who oh. doesn't know that? <laughs> now, what this means is, if you're in a school, it would be a class trip or a field trip. Field if trip, you're yeah. in an office or some sort of sorority club, whatnot, that would just be a trip that you guys all take together. It can go in the morning until nighttime, or you can go for two or three days, and it's mainly to get close with each other mm. to eat and drink. Yeah. Usually, usually it involves an overnight trip yes. somewhere rather far away, and then it stands for the membership training, which I don't know. Do we ever use that term in English? Yeah. I'm not familiar with that Actually, the reason they one. call it membership training originally was because if you are a schnipseng or a, a new, new student. student or a new office worker, they would take you on these trips, and it's kind of like to... You know, throw you in, <laughs> yeah. To gain, to work on the atmosphere, make you yeah, better right. friends so that you work better together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and make the atmosphere better for working and studying together. Mm -hmm. So, here we have yegi, okay? It's not, originally it's iyagi, but then that gets shortened to yegi, and then dutta turns into dutta, okay? It's an irregular, irregular verb that d changes into an l, okay? Durachi, meaning you heard about the MT, didn't you? Hey, let's try repeating that. No MT 얘기 들었지? No MT 얘기 들었지? No MT 얘기 들었지? And Steven says, mm, yeah, that's right. 첫 MT라 마음이 설렌다. Lots of things to cover here. 첫, okay, 첫 번째, 첫 번째. 두 번째, 세 번째, but I believe 첫 is the only one you can judo, right? Mm -hmm. To shorten? Mm -hmm. The first, right? Uh, and for this one, 첫 MT da. I think the thing that's important to me is understanding this da, which gets added on to the end of nouns, uh, and it, it means we're, you're adding a description of the noun, okay? So, MT da, it's the, because it's the first MT is what you're saying when you add that da onto there. Maomi solenda, okay? And maomi is your heart. Solenda mm. sol is to be very uh, fluttery, full of and excited. Oh, yes. yeah. well, I'm excited so, about it. You're saying you're very mm. excited about something. Right. When we first started our program, me and Steve were very excited. We had mm -hmm. lots of butterflies mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. in our stomach. 기대가 mm -hmm. 되죠? Okay. <laughs> Looking forward to something. That's mm -hmm. 설렌다. And uh, let's try to use the la in a couple of sentences. It's something and then la, right? So what is a bunch of uh, a three-day holiday or something like that is called a yon? 
Yeonhu. Yeonhu, yeonhu. right? So you could say because it is a yeonhu, yeonhu, there's lots of people. Yeonhu. Uh, yeonhu ra. That. Mm -hmm. Yeonhu ra. Or what about? It's our first lesson today. Chot. Suobira. Suobira. Oryeoyo. Okay. Or what if it was your first exam? Okay. So you could be nervous. Chot shihomira. <laughs> so we start using chat and then that in a lot of those expressions. So you're giving, you're giving a reason for something. Mm -hmm. This is I didn't mention before. This is short for ira so, right? Yeah. So you're giving your reason ira so, right? Just like we've had so many times. This is how you can shorten it using a noun. Right. Our next line here is nami sonuro kande. Okay, nami san maybe a not so familiar word for you, even those uh, who have been studying Korean. Uh, this is a tom, an island off the coast of Korea, and there was a very famous drama that they had here. It's called Kyoul mm Yonga, -hmm. the one with uh, Bae Yong-ju, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right, the famous uh, actor. And so this island became very famous because of him. So many, 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 many MTs mm -hmm. would. You, they would take them all the way to Namisan to do it. So just a part of the culture you may uh, not know. So let's try repeating that. 어디 어디로 간대? 남이섬으로 간대. 남이섬으로 간대. 남이섬. 남이섬으로 간대. 네. 남이섬으로 간대. Mm -hmm. uh, the 가다 is add, you add on the N at the end to say 간다고 했어요 is the long form. 간다고 했어요. That is the reported speech. It gets shortened, as many, many things do in Korean, to 간대. Okay, that's a very short ending there. 간대. 정말? Mm -hmm. Really? 정말? Yeah. Okay, that was our last one. Are you sure? Okay, we're sure. So let's go on to Korean Insight. Korean Insight. 왜요? 나랑 데이트 할래? 아니 나랑 데이트 하는 건 하늘의 별 따기야. 기대하지 마. Very good, very good. Yes, we put them to work acting there. They did fine. We're looking to use 하늘의 별 따기. Okay, 하늘의 별 따기야 means it's like trying to grab something out, a star out of the sky. What does that mean? It's just about impossible. So let's say trying to get a job at a company. And it's really tough to get a job. That's the most popular company you get a job at. What would you say? 그 회사에서 취직하기가 하늘의 별 따기야. Meaning, almost impossible. Well, there's a famous American book. They said, Papa, Papa, please get the moon for me. Obviously, that little girl's never going to get the star or the moon, right? Okay, let's go on to grammar tips. What did we learn today, Stephen? We learned MT means membership training. And what it really involves is going off on a trip with friends to hang out and get, get closer together. Then we had chat emtira, which means ira so, short for ira so, so because it's the first mt, maomi solenda, you're very excited about something. And then we have nami somro ande, they said we're going to nami sam ande. Mm. Steven, you said it Okay, if you did, let's go on to our last review for today. No, MT 얘기 들었지? 음, 첫 MT라 마음이 설렌다. 남이섬으로 간대. 정말? 이. <웃음> I heard a rumor. Do you know what I heard? Take a listen. Steven 얘기 들었지? 무슨 얘기? I didn't hear. 그 다음 주 스티븐이 미국에 간대. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you hear? <laughs> 다음 주에 스티븐이 미국에 간대. Not really, right? Uh, friend's wedding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Well, I hope you had a great lesson today. It was a very fun, filled ten minutes. And we hope you'll join us back for our next lesson. See you then. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, everybody. www.arirangtv.com.